Hello everyone, today we will talk about the catecholamines, we will talk about their synthesis and their degradation and finally we will talk about the monoamine oxygenase inhibitor enzymes. Okay, now the catecholamines contain three compounds. Catecholamine is a group that contains three compounds. First of all it contains dopamine and then it contains an epinephrine and norepinephrine. The epinephrine, uh, sorry the norepinephrine and the dopamine both of them are present in brain mainly and the epinephrine is present mainly in suprarenal medulla and the dopamine uh, is a, a neurotransmitter that is uh, present in the basal ganglia and some other uh, structures of the brain and the epinephrine and norepinephrine both of these hormones are associated with the sympathetic response of the body that is the fly, fight and flight response so let's talk about the degradations all three of these amino acids uh, all three of all three uh, these amines are formed from the amino acid tyrosine the tyrosine amino acid first of all it is hydroxylated by an enzyme called the tyrosinase this is a copper containing enzyme called the tyrosinase this copper containing enzyme tyrosinase causes the hydroxylation of the tyrosine into a compound which is called the dihydroxyphenyl alanine dihydroxyphenyl alanine and here the hydroxyl group is donated by tetrahydrobiopterine which is in turn converted into dihydrobiopterine this dihydrobiopterine is converted back into tetrahydrobiopterine by an enzyme called the dihydropteridine reductase and the uh, NADH here donates the hydroxyl uh, sorry uh, hydrogen okay now this dopa that has been formed it is the uh, sorry it is decarboxylated by an enzyme called dopamine uh, dopa carboxylase into dopamine now the dopamine is formed and the other two amines are in turn formed from the dopamine uh, the dopamine undergoes hydroxylation that the hydroxyl group is added and the uh, resulting compound is called the norepinephrine and the enzyme here is the dopamine hydroxylase the hydroxyl group is added to dopamine and the dopamine is converted into norepinephrine then in turn this norepinephrine is converted into epinephrine by the addition of a methyl group the norepinephrine does not contain methyl group but the epinephrine contains an additional methyl group. The methyl group is donated by a metabolite of the methionine called, called the S-adenosyl methionine that acts as a carrier of the methyl group and in it in turn donates the methyl group to norepinephrine which is converted into epinephrine and then this S-adenosyl methionine is converted into S-adenosyl homocysteine. In this way these amino acids uh, sorry these amines are formed from the tyrosine amino acids. Now let's talk about their degradation. degradation. Uh, the catecholamines are degraded in two ways. Uh, two enzymes are involved in their degradation. Uh, first is a monoamine oxygenase, uh, oxygenase enzyme and the second enzyme is called the COMT which stands for catecholamine O methyl transferase. Both of these enzymes are involved. We will first talk about the uh, degradation of the uh, catecholamines that are the epinephrine and the norepinephrine because their degradation is interrelated. So here we have the epinephrine. Remember that the epinephrine is formed in the renal medulla, suprarenal medulla. And here we have the norepinephrine. Uh, a mnemonic, a small mnemonic that you will have to remember is MD and CM that the monoamine oxygenase enzyme uh, enzyme will lead to a product that starts with D and the COMT enzyme will lead, to, will lead to a product that start with M okay first of all we will talk about what will be the uh, action of the monoamine oxygenase enzymes monoamine oxygenase enzyme acts on both epinephrine and norepinephrine and it converts both of them into a single compound which is called the di because m d di hydroxy mendelic acid 
this dihydroxymine delicacy is produced now let's talk about the what will be the effect of the uh, what will be the action of the com t enzyme on epinephrine and norepinephrine the com t enzyme when it acts on the epinephrine uh, norepinephrine it will produce uh, it will produce a compound which is called which, which will start with m so metanephrine but here because this is the norepinephrine so normetanephrine is produced but in case of the epinephrine when com t acts on the epinephrine it uh, produces a compound which is called the metanephrine now uh, when uh, now uh, the uh, dihydroxymine delegacy is produced by the enzyme of monoamine oxygenase now it must be acted upon by an enzyme com t and it produces a compound which is called the vanillyl mandelic acid also the normetanephrine and the metanephrine both of them must be acted upon by the monoamine oxygenase because first they were acted upon by the uh, com t enzyme so monoamine oxygenase acts on the uh, metanephrine and normetanephrine both and form the vanillyl vanillyl mandelic acid so vanillyl mandelic acid will be the ultimate product of the degradation of the epinephrine and norepinephrine there is a disease which is called the pheochromocytoma pheochromocytoma basically is the uh, the tumor of the suprarenal medulla so uh, when the suprarenal medulla uh, cells are, uh, are are you can say dividing very haphazardly they form a tumor called pheochromocytoma the uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine will be uh, produced in great quantities and they will also be degraded in the great quantities so vinyl uh, vanillyl mandelic acid concentration will increase in the urine okay now let's talk about the metabolism of dopamine dopamine is also acted upon by same two enzymes monoamine oxygenase and com t catecholamine omethyl transferase okay now first of all let's talk about what will be the action of monoamine oxygenase on dopamine the monoamine oxygenase uh, action monoamine oxygenase enzyme acts on the dopamine and convert it uh, converts it into a compound called the dihydroxy phenyl acetic, acetic acid dihydroxy phenyl acetate you can say and then a com t when it when this acts on the dopamine it will convert it into methoxy tyramine methoxy tyramine now both of them are acted upon by the other uh, component of the degradation that is the monoamine oxygenase has acted so com t must act now and it converts it into a compound called the homovanillic acid homovanillic acid similarly the methoxy tyramine which is produced by the action of com t now is acted upon by the monoamine oxygenase and it is converted into homovanillic acid okay now let's talk about the clinical application of these pathways that how why these pathways are uh, so much important to learn there is a group of uh, there is a group of uh, inhibitors or group of drugs that are called the monoamine ox oxygenase oxygenase inhibitors basically these are the enzymes that stop the uh, that stop the uh, oxidation of uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, monoamine oxygenase oxygenase uh, inhibitors stop the degradation of these enzymes oh, sorry uh, stop the degradation of the catecholamines if the catecholamines are not being degraded then they start accumulating in the body fluids or uh, sorry in the cns where they are produced and so it will lead to the prolonged action of these catecholamines and it is used in a number of diseases in which uh, these um, these monoamine uh, these uh, these uh, catecholamines are rapidly degraded and their prolonged action is required now let's talk about what will be the uh, what will be the you can say the uh, relationship between monoamine oxygenase inhibitor and tyramine first of all we need to know what is tyramine tyramine is a compound that is formed from tyrosine by the action of a decarboxylase enzyme that removes the carbon dioxide from ty uh, tyrosine and converts it into tyramine okay now 
the tyrosine uh, now this so the source of this tyrosine is mainly the food so the food containing tyrosine will lead to the formation of tyramine and then this tyramine is acted upon by monoamine oxygenase inhibitor and this tyramine is degraded this is the normal process but if a patient is undergoing therapy uh, sorry monoamine oxygenase enzyme will act on uh, the tyramine and converted into and uh, converted into it, its final product that are uh, eventually the uh, eventually excreted from the body but if a patient is undergoing therapy of the monoamine oxygenase inhibitors this tyramine will not be degraded and this tyramine will in, uh, in turn enter another pathway that will produce uh, that uh, that will produce some neurotransmitters that are called the false neurotransmitters and this false neurotransmitters will in turn lead to the hypertensive crisis that the blood pressure will increase now this these uh, false neurotransmitters uh, do uh, do not have any action on the um, on any action on the central nervous system rather they act on the peripheral nervous system and on the peripheral tissues because they cannot cross the blood brain barrier in the next video we will talk about the metabolism of the creatine and creatinine see you in the next video thank you very much